welcome back to Onyx Pages. I'm in Jerry, and this is the wrap up video for the Kwanzaa Reflectathon. Yay! So, Tommy and I are going to be announcing, not really just me, but Tommy's right there. <laughs> Hey. Um, so Tommy and I will be announcing the winners of the contest. So as you know, in order to be eligible for a prize, you were asked to submit a comment under any of the videos that were uploaded by the booktubers participating in the Kwanzaa Reflectathon. And in that comment, you were asked to give a suggestion of a book that you've read that exemplified the, the topic of that particular day. So as you know, Kwanzaa has seven principles. Kwanzaa ran from December December 26th to January 1st and I chose a winner for six out of the seven of the days because one day there weren't any comments that were, that uh, suggested a book so we've got a sort of special prize for that day but without further ado let's talk about who the winners are so day one of Kwanzaa uh, is reflected by the principle of Umoja, which is unity. The two booktubers that uploaded video that videos that day were Neuro Chaos and TBG Reads. The winner of the prize for that day is Franz Ferdinand 59. So congratulations. And Franz Ferdinand 59 suggested that the Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison was a great example of unity and Umoja. And you are going to win a copy of Friday Black by Nana Kwame Ajay Brenya. Congratulations. So day two of Kwanzaa is Kuji Jagulia, which represents self-determination. The two booktubers who uploaded videos on that day were The Novel Lush and Lucy Reads. Now, Secundra Beasley suggested that a Beautiful Work in Progress by Myrna Valero was a great example of self-determination and I couldn't agree with you more. You are the winner of the prize and you were going to win a copy of Sunny and the Mysteries of Osisi by Neri Okorafor. Congratulations. Day three of Kwanzaa is all about Ujima, which is collective work and responsibility. The booktubers that uploaded videos on that day as part of the Reflectathon were Book Cave and Bookie Charm, as well as Joe the Great. The contest winner is Whitney French Wright. Hey girl! And Whitney suggested that Ursula Le Guin's The Dispossessed was a great example of collective work and responsibility and having read it I totally agree. So Whitney you are going to win a copy of Dark Matter Reading Down the Bones which is a collection of Afrofuturist short stories put together by Cherie Renee Thomas. Congratulations! Day four, Ujama, which is cooperative economics, was discussed by Rachel Ray and Charles of Sir Booksage. And the contest winner for that day is Naraya Reads or Noria Reads. And Naraya suggested that Brazen, Rebel Ladies Who Rock the World by Penelope Bagieu was a great example of cooperative economics. I haven't read the book, but I'm convinced by what you said. So you're going to win a copy of The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Day five is all about Nia, which is purpose. And your co-hosts for day five were Musical Tati and Diana in Color. The contest winner for day five is Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading. And Dee Dee suggested that When Trouble Sleeps by Leye Adeni was a great example of purpose. And Dee Dee, because I know how much you love science fiction and fantasy and how much you want to read more of it, you are going to get a copy of Sister Mind by Nalo Hopkinson, who, as you know, is my favorite author. And then we're going to meet up on Instagram and talk about it because I hope you like it because I think it's really great. So congratulations and thank you for your comment. Day six is Kuumba Creativity. And our creative booktubers were Weekend Reader, who uploaded a blog to her, uh, to her blog. So you should read that blog post. And... Ashley from Don't Have a Degree in Reading. The winner of day six is Sorelia. Now, no one posted comments suggesting a book that reflected creativity, which was like a little odd. Y'all posted some really beautiful comments about the books that were suggested, but not really a suggestion. So Sorella Cere is winning this prize because Cereella 
called me out and told me that the links that I had uploaded to the videos were actually not working. They were leading people down the rabbit hole to nowhere on the internet. So thank you very much for mentioning to me that my links were broken. They are all going to be corrected in this video. And for your collective support and your creative way of telling me that the links were broken has earned you a prize. So you are going to win Signal to Noise by Silvia Moreno Garcia. And I think that you're a native Spanish speaker. Um, this story is a magical realism story involving three young people living in Mexico City. And I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that you talk about it as well. So I hope that you enjoyed the book and thank you very much for, uh, for helping assist out. Day seven is, rep is represented by the principle of Imani, which means faith. And the booktubers who were talking about that were Pretty Brown Eye Reader and Ellen, so Alicia from Pretty Brown Eye Reader and Ellen uh, from Books by Lanes. Those are both wonderful videos. And the contest winner for that day is SAF World Books. The book recommendation from SAF World Books was A Choice of Weapons by Golden Par Gordon Parks which I believe is a story about a man whose mother was tragically murdered, I believe, and he turned to photography as his choice of weapons, I guess, and became a very noted photographer. And so that really sounded interesting to me. And uh, so thank you very much for that book recommendation. And your prize is Binti, book, Binti the Night Masquerade, book three of the Binti trilogy by Nadio Corfor. So if you haven't read books one and two, you got to get on that. And then hopefully by the time I get that novella to you, you will have read one and two so congratulations and thank you very much for participating in the contest so those are the seven official winners of the contest now there were two people who also uploaded videos alongside well, well one person alongside the entire seven days and one person at the beginning that I'd like to shout out so I would like to shout out the channel that's so po because on that channel on the first day there is a video uploaded uh, where you went through all of the seven principles of Kwanzaa in an aspirational way kind of setting up a challenge for you to read more diversely in the year 2019 I thought that was a wonderful way of participating and I want to thank you very much for the love that you gave to the channel even though you look through your, the books that you read this year and you're like ain't nothing's matching any of the principles so let me get on that so I really appreciated how you took up the challenge and I, I hope that you will participate in the Kwanzaa Reflectathon at the end of 2019 and then an honorable mention has to go to Bookaboo92 because my girl was just like, this Quantum Reflectathon is awesome and I'm just going to jump on board and I'm going to, I'm going to post a video. At first she was like, maybe I'll post a video for a couple of the principals. And then she actually posted a video on time before me for each of the seven days consistently with a book that she felt exemplified each of the Kwanzaa principles. So thank you very much, Capri Nicole, for um, participating. And I'm going to give you a prize because you're so fly and I like your hair. So that's pretty much what that's about. Um, and you are going to get a copy of Zami, a new spelling of my name by Audre Lorde. Um, it's a really interesting and challenging read. And while it isn't specifically Afrofuturism, I think there's a futurist aspect of it that I, re I recall reading. So I hope you pick up on that and I hope that you enjoy that story. So those are all the winners of the prizes for the Kwanzaa Reflectathon. Now, the Kwanzaa Reflectathon playlist is up. There's a link in the description of this video. If you missed any of the videos or if you'd like to return to um, get all of those juicy book recommendations, please do that. I hope that you use this as a resource to diversify and deepen your reading in 2019. If you'd like to participate in the Kwanzaa Reflectathon next year, I mean like as in this year, please put that in the comments and I will try to create a list of people that I will reach out to probably in November of 2019 uh, to ask you if you'd like to participate. We may change how the Reflectathon happens, but just let, let me know and I will return to this video then. I also want to let you know of a couple of initiatives that are going to be happening in the new year that have already been talked about. So 
uh, Didi from Brown Girl Reading. Every year she does Read So Lit during the month of February, which is coming up. So check out her channel. If you haven't subscribed to it, uh, you really should. She's a trailblazer in the community. So uh, check out her channel before February or around February so that you can see what the group read is going to be and you can see what the schedule is for all of the booktubers who are going to be participating in her um, her Black History Month celebration. There's also going to be the Blackathon, which was just announced um, by Books and Bowties or Bowties and Books, I have to make sure that I have your name right. Um, and I think that there are two other co-hosts. Okay, you know what? This is just, this is slack. I should have done my research. Hold on. Bowties and Books. Yes, so the Blackathon, Let's mute you. The Blackathon is co-hosted by Bowties and Books, Francina Simone, and Lauren from the novel Lush. So three brilliant black booktubers. Uh, they have an amazing array of challenges and prompts. And I just watched the announcement video today and I'm so excited about it. I am definitely not going to read a bunch of books in two weeks. So we're just, let's just be clear that my life is just not going to be able to handle that. But I will try to read as many of them as I possibly can and be an active uh, community member while this is while this is going on by reading some of the books and um, and just like and connecting so you should go over to their channels and take a look at what books will what what the challenges are I believe that that uh, bow ties and books will be uploading recommendations for each of the challenges so you can start your reading now and I believe that the group read is The Poet X by Elizabeth uh, Acevedo so you should check out that one and read it if you hadn't hadn't read already so I'd like to say a hearty heartfelt thank you to all of the booktubers thank you so much none of you actually celebrate Kwanzaa so each of you just gave a leap of faith and jumped into this experience and uploaded videos. So thank you very much for doing that. I really appreciate it and I hope that you particip participate again next year. To everybody who liked, comment, and subscribed to the booktubers who participated, thank you very much for showing the love and helping to grow these channels. Um, and you know, I hope that you have a wonderful year of insightful, principled, reflective reading. Bye.